Wow, I, I guess I don't know where to begin, really. I started out in the 70s digging swimming pools. I started with a shovel in my hand digging ditches. Oh, it's a family business. Started with my mom and dad back in the late 70s, early 80s. Simple company with a couple of dump trucks, small pieces of equipment, doing residential property. And we've grown since from that into what we are today to approximately 85 employees, over 150 pieces of equipment, and um, focus on site development and utilities. As our company got older and my parents retired and moved on, Dan and I and uh, the crews that grew with us was uh, looking at ways to be more competitive, more productive, and be that one value add niche higher than the people that we are competing against. And technology was a no brainer. One day me and Craig started talking about, let's start looking into some GPS stuff. I went to work for a friend for a weekend. We worked on a big parking lot at a mall. We never pulled a set of plans out all weekend long. I have no idea what the plans look like. We had a small dozer with GPS on it. And we followed that guy around all weekend long and he would cut to grade, tell us how far to cut, move the material. And when it was all said and done, we had a beautiful parking lot. Not one stake in the ground, not one labor on the ground, only equipment. And it was super efficient. We got a lot of work done in a small amount of time. Once that happened, I came back to my day job went right to the boss and said, we need to look into this because this is the future right here. And just progressed from there. Once we got people to realize that this GPS thing is really what people say it is, we built from, built from that. I've been in doing dirt work since the 70s. And uh, dirt work has changed significantly because of the machine controls. What's starting to happen is the line of engineer, survey, and construction company are starting to kind of blur to where an average construction company now can design and do somewhat survey in the field all without having to spend thousands of dollars. Our best year that we had moving dirt before we got the machine control was probably close to 500,000 yards. Well, last year, we moved between a million and a half and two million yards of dirt. And I don't think that we would have been able to do it with the people that we could find without the machine controls and the GPS system. It would have been an astronomical amount of stakes to put in. The surveyors would have never been able to keep up. Having the technology also allows us to let the owners know that we're working for, that they can save money for less survey, um, less engineering um, information that has to be required in their side of it for what they pay for, because we can keep and retain the information provided right off the get-go. So as soon as they give us the, the main points, we can take it from there. We get our model built, we get it put into our equipment, and, and we can go, and we can offset, and we can as-built everything as we go. Uh, I, I personally believe that machine control in this day and age is really the only way to go with in construction, especially when you start factoring in different efficiencies and also the return on investment from the initial purchase of it to the cost that it saves on job sites, especially on our large job site that we just did. It almost wouldn't be possible for a company our size to, to do something without, without spending thousands of dollars in hubs and stakes, and also just the cost and survey that it saved us. Not only does it equate to the labor cost, the manpower to do all of that, but you only grade it once with GPS. You don't grade it twice, three times, four times. It's, I, I consider it one and done. You make one pass, two grade, you're done. You don't go back. Saves on the wear and tear on my equipment, going through less undercarriages, less blade wear, because you're cutting right to grade and you're not having excessive movements on that equipment. The technology that we rely on the most for data management at RV and Associates is uh, Leica's Connex. 
Uh, and why it's so critical to us is we're able to continue to organize files on, on Leica's cloud service and be able to access it anywhere I am. Uh, and not just me, we can, superintendents can also access it and they can download it on their computer if they need to. On a bigger project like this, where there's a lot of revisions or we get added work, instead of having to drive an hour and a half back to the office to go get a file on a thumb drive, he can send it right over via like a Connex and load into the machine and we're working in a couple of minutes. Also, one of the nice things about it is the ability to do remote support. So if one of the guys are having issues in the field, I'm able to log straight into their tablet and take control and fix the errors that might be on there and also kind of see what's happening. It's handy too if, if there's like a grade bust or if there's a, a model issue, I can see it in real time. The biggest advantage is that now the operator knows with confidence what he's doing. So he might have heard maybe about a change or about some kind of um, design that's coming through the pipeline. Well, now he knows it's right in front of him. And so he's gonna, he's not gonna be guessing. He's gonna know with confidence that this is exactly what he's supposed to be doing. And it's gonna be much more accurate. For, for us originally, we thought if we have this machine control set up, we could take a guy that really isn't that great of an operator and we can get him finishing something, which is a very true statement. But what we found is if you take somebody that's already a pretty good equipment operator and put them on that machine control, the efficiency is two, two to three times. It's amazing what that person can do on that dozer. If you can already feel what a dozer is doing underneath you and then put the machine control on and all the information's on the screen right in front of you, you know what your slopes are supposed to be, which direction grade's flowing, which direction the water's supposed to go. And you can feel that that dozer is doing all those things underneath you that makes makes a huge difference. Some of my grades are within hundreds with my grader. Some of the survey companies have come out, topoed, and grade checked all of our pads that are certified and they're within hundreds. That's with a grader and knowing your offsets and knowing and understanding and checking it in. It's, a, it's unbelievable. The survey cannot believe how accurate that equipment is and give them the right circumstances, material, and the person on the machine, it is very doable. People disagree until they come out. They come out and they watch and they understand. It's, it's amazing. We side by side compared the three biggest brands and found that the Leica was the most user friendly and had the best service of any of them. And brand A, to brand B to Leica, if you made the same pass with one and then made the same pass with the next and the same pass with the next, the consistency and the accuracy of the Leica over the other competitors is hands down more superior. We felt that the, the Leica had a better feel for the ground and a feel for the operator. It wasn't choppy, it recovered quicker when you did hit a bump or rock, it might give you one or two bounces, but then the blade carries right away, where some of the others, you all but had to stop to get the machine to get back under control to where you could keep grading. I got some young guys, they like to drive, run the equipment fast. <laughs> really can't help it. So they run it in a little higher gear than most of the guys do, and they're still achieving the same grade with Leica as some of the others can't with less speed. Leica is there for us at a phone call away immediately if we have any issues at all and with the training and they backed the product that they, they provided for us. With the competitors, we were not getting that kind of attention. So it made the decision really easy for us to go to Leica. To me, that's the most important part of the whole thing is we always have answers for problems within hours at the most. There's plenty of people that I could call if I have a question, even after hours, somebody's gonna answer the phone or send me an email back. 
and it might not be it might be hey I can't get to you till the morning but somebody responds and they they know that we're looking for something and they're gonna be there to help us so that's definitely been fantastic the service and I gotta ask why is that happening why would a technology company want to provide this service to our construction company and so I've been extremely impressed with the customer support from Leica for sure. When I saw what was capable with that equipment, I wasn't stopping until I had it. Before there was a lot of possibility for human error and I've seen a lot of it and this eliminates it pretty much 99%. Well now it's, it's at the operator's fingertips. There's no more second guessing. We want them to be focusing on quality control. We want them to be focusing on fine tuning and perfecting what they know how to do. The efficiency is hands down. You can't beat it, cannot. It all adds up to minimizing the amount of work that you put into that dirt. And you're gonna be faster at what you do. So I went from 100 acres to 210 in no time. Couldn't have done it without the technology. There's no way. Not to mention, I can get done a lot faster and gives me more time to work on my race car.